Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be a haul. So if you guys are interested in seeing the fragrances that I picked up during this haul, then go ahead and just keep on watching. All right, y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing stop and leave me your sin of the day down below i would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video also if you guys are new to my channel hello again my name is jane welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for clicking back onto another video i truly truly appreciate you guys' support so make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from moi and let's jump right into it. This video is not sponsored by any means. However, a few of these fragrances were sent to me from a company called Fab Grants. And if you have not heard of them, they're basically just an online retailer that gives you guys deals on fragrances. So I have five fragrances in total. They gifted me three and I purchased two. And I'm going to go through all of them and just, you know, do my little thing or whatnot. So before I actually get into the fragrances, I do want to talk to you guys about the company, their customer service, and also my experience with them because it actually uh, didn't go that well at first, but I'm going to talk to you guys about that so you all are well aware that I'm being completely transparent and letting you guys know everything from the Ruta to the Tuda, and I'm going to show you guys screenshots as well. So Fab Grants is a new online retailer that has a wide range of fragrances. They have designer, they have niche, they have designer private line. They also have some celebrity fragrances as well, so you don't necessarily have to get the most expensive fragrances on the website. You can also get designer and celebrity fragrances for a discount. Also, they pride themselves on having a no minimum shipping requirement for free shipping. So you get free shipping no matter if you spend $5 or if you spend $500 and that's their vow to you. However, you will have to pay sales tax depending on your state. Some states require it, some states don't. It just depends and they also ship internationally. They have plenty of codes out there for like Mancera, Montal, Creed, Creed and even Prada. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of their promos that they have currently going on, go ahead and look down in the description box. I'll have them all down there. They also offer 10% off for first time customers. So I will leave that down below, but the code is just welcome 10. All the information that I'm going to say in this video about them is going to be all down in the description box below. They also automatically give you a free ebook after you purchase with them, which I thought was pretty cool. It's actually pretty unique because I don't know any other online retailers that do that. So that was something that was pretty dope to me. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about my experience with them before really getting into the fragrances because I want you guys to know that even though they did send me products, everything wasn't perfect and I just want to let you guys know how the customer service was and if I recommend this company to you or not I'll save that to the end but I'm gonna tell you guys my experience first and then go from there because once you see some of these fragrances you'll see what I'm talking about what I will really say about this company is they have amazing customer service like for real and it's not only with me working with them but also with me being an actual consumer because like I said I did purchase two fragrances myself basically there was a mix up with one of the fragrances they sent me a completely different fragrance from what I ordered and when I tell you guys I got the correct fragrance in two days two days we talked on like a Friday and that shipment was at my house on a Monday like that's unheard of. I don't know if they expedited it because they made the error, but they seemed very, very apologetic about it. They said that that's never happened to them before, but things happen. And, you know, I'm just letting you guys know if things happen, if mix ups happen, please contact the retailer. Let them know that your order was not correct. Let them know if anything was damaged or anything like that, because that's their responsibility as a retailer to give you what you paid for. There was something that happened with one of my fragrances that I kind of was iffy about because it just you know wasn't in the condition that I thought it would be in and basically one of my fragrances the label is a little bit damaged <laughs> and I'm going to talk to you guys about it when I actually talk about the fragrance all in all my experience with them was very pleasant I really enjoyed their conversation and they checked on me they made sure everything was okay they communicated and also with the packages when I ordered on my own it was extremely quick shipping with my experience with this company the shipping has been the fastest shipping I've ever experienced from a company at all like maybe Sephora is right up with them because I get free two-day shipping from them but yeah I've never received a fragrance this 
fast. Literally, it took two business days for both transactions to come in. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm gonna actually get into these fragrances because I want to show you guys what I got, how they smell, how they perform, and if they are the truth or not, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the fragrances that I purchased because one is my scent of the day and I wanna start off with my scent of the day. And the first fragrance that I purchased and my scent of the day is 100 Silent Ways by Nishane. And I tried this fragrance because David Smith on Facebook. If you guys aren't on these Facebook groups, if you don't have a Facebook, create one so you can get in these fragrance Facebook groups, okay? I met him through there and he sent me a lot of decants. It was like last summer, summer of 2020 or spring of 2020. And I remember he sent this to me and I fell in love. Now, I'm gonna get into the notes and all that other good stuff, don't worry. But I do wanna tell you, if you enjoy black opium, you will love 100 Silent Ways. Now, I'm not saying that black opium is a dupe of this. However, when you first spray it initially, like you will definitely be reminded of black opium, but the dry downs are completely different. So I would definitely say that if you like black opium, you would 100% like 100 Silent Ways. You like that? <laughs> but yeah, so 100 Silent Ways. Oh my gosh, where do I start? This has peach, tuberose, jasmine. It has a little bit of vanilla in there. It also has some sandalwood. Y'all, like, ooh. Man, I really like this scent. This, to me, is perfect for date night, perfect for fall, winter. I'm a wear what you want when you want kind of girl, but this scent, to me, just screams nighttime. You know, being sensual, being sexy, being just fine, okay? You're just fine. <laughs> I really, really like this scent a lot. It has amazing performance. It is an extrait de parfum. This baby right here, this lasts, okay? This lasts. For me, the projection is heavy for the first three, four hours, and then it becomes more moderate. But that sillage, baby, that sillage, okay, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So again, like I said, if you enjoy black opium, if you like that type of vibe, then I think you will really enjoy this scent. If you're one of those people who says black opium is basic or whatever, I say give this a try because I do feel like this is more refined. It has a different dry down. It has more of a vanillic, sandalwoody, a little a bit of vetiver in the dry down as well, which kind of gives it this like slightly masculine edge, but not too masculine. I really like the way vetiver smells on my skin at least overall to me this is just a sweet vanillic slightly powdery scent has the white florals from the jasmine and the tuberose but they're not like heady or indolic or anything like that they're like perfect they're the perfect white florals that i like now i would say that if you're like new to the niche world this is definitely one you should check out i would say that this is safe i don't think that this is the most unique fragrance but this is definitely pleasing to smell I've gotten so many compliments on this from family members and even from strangers being out, like wearing a mask. So I definitely recommend getting your hands on this if you have not. And if you are interested in a niche fragrance that is perfect for date night, perfect for feeling sexy and sensual, 100 silent ways, baby. And this is my scent of the day. Okay, so this next purchase that I made, <laughs> I was actually kind of peer pressured by my girls. <sighs> They love this scent and I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm late on the train. Everyone talks about this fragrance and I still don't have it, but I do have the original. And this is Girl of Now Shine by Eli Saab. This fragrance is beautiful. Like it's nutty, sweet, slightly fruity, a little bit of powderiness, just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, this is so pretty. I really, really enjoy this. I used to think that I liked the original, like, the most. Like, no. Like, Shine. Shine came through, okay? I really do like this scent. Now, I will say that this can get cloying if you overdo it. Like, it definitely can get cloying. So, I say less is more with this one. But I have been enjoying layering this with other fragrances because my girls recommended layering this with other fragrances. And I would definitely say this is bomb. And on the Fab Grants website, I got this for like 50 bucks. And this is the largest size. This is a 90 mil. So that's a really good deal for it to be brand spanking new. Because y'all know on Macari and eBay and stuff, they be trying to tax for fragrances. You know? Mm -mm. 
I'm not even gonna go for it but yeah this is really pretty this is basically like the original girl of now with the pistachio and the almonds and all that but this has an added pineapple note which kind of gives it this beautiful fruitiness this brightness a little bit of like a spring summer vibe to it I really really like this a lot and I'm so happy that I picked it up I'm so happy I got it because I feel pretty good with these two now I want to try forever from this line people say that that's very cloying but y'all know I like my sweet scents and I would love to smell like a strawberry raspberry lemonade like they say it smells like so this is girl of now shine and i really really like this scent all right so hopping into the fragrances that they sent me i'm going to start off with the bad and i'm going to end with the good <laughs> because i just need to talk about this scent because i'm so disappointed this is jasmine rouge by tom ford so y'all know i like jasmine <sighs> This scent just wasn't, it's not for me. This is a very heady jasmine. Very, very heady. It has some yellow florals in there. It has some white florals. Has a little bit of sweetness. It's just, it's just wrong. It's just not for me. I have never really been a fan of leather. And there's leather in the base. There's just something about this scent other than the white florals being very heady and indolic and just too much. Like, the white florals kind of come off as like, like funky like how can I ex how can I explain it just kind of like if you're talking to someone and their breath is like hot like <clears throat> like crazy stink like that's what it smells like it just smells like stinky breath Ugh. sometimes it just can go south and just in here it's just south but also with this fragrance um, when I got this from the company it seemed like it was wet it was sealed never been sprayed never been used but maybe like um, the fragrance was leaking from the cap and kind of, you know, rubbed off the gold like paint. So I'm just going to show you guys this. It's authentic. I did verify that this was authentic because I have a friend who has this fragrance and I had her send me a decant and they smell exactly the same, perform the same, all that stuff. It's just the fragrance to me just did not work. And I put a little dent in this. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, It's not trying to focus, but I wanted to show you guys. I tried and tried and tried to use this fragrance I tried to layer it I tried to do everything and this just it just did not work for me I just just can't get with it I can't get with it sucks but yeah I can't, I can't do it <laughs> but this also was another issue that I had with the company and they were just very kind and just let me know like the bottle probably leaked unfortunately and it just happens sometimes if this does happen to you and you do want a refund they are completely open to refunding you or exchanging it for something else so don't worry I just told them don't worry about it you know because I wanted to disclose this in the video so this is Jasmine Rouge so next is one that I was so happy to get my hands on I actually sampled this probably over a year ago I'm just so happy that five grants allowed me to get this because I was gonna buy it anyway like I was gonna buy it anyway and this is Virgin Island Water by Creed this is just like a sweet coconutty vanillic citrus <laughs> with some uh, like a hint of like booziness this has a rum note in it and it adds some sweetness but also gives it a little bit of depth in the dry down which I really really love I think it, this also has like sugar in the base as well it maintains its sweetness throughout the fragrance it gets less citrusy and more like um like smooth and milky but the projection isn't that great after about five hours it's more closer to the skin but with this being a summer spring scent i'm wearing this in winter i think when it gets hotter outside it might project a little bit more but as of now the projection isn't that good after about four hours on my skin but that can change because like i said the season that we're in it is a little cooler outside and some fragrances perform better in the heat than others this though i just really really love this scent this has notes of coconut and bergamot this also has jasmine and lang lang this also has some sugar and rum so i think that this scent is for my guys and gals who are bougie okay or if you want to feel bougie because i feel like fragrances invoke emotions so i think that when i spray certain perfumes like i want them to like take me to a place you know or i want to create a memory in my head so that when i do it in reality i can pick that fragrance up and create that dream or that fantasy in my head and make it a reality so virgin island water to me 
smells like and I want to speak as a female because I'm a female this to me just reminds me of a woman who is just effortlessly beautiful she can throw on a little mascara some lip gloss some bronzer maybe a little concealer and go about her business okay she is wealthy she's not rich she's wealthy there's a difference okay and she has on her huge Chanel sunglasses she has on her Chanel tote because she's gonna be on her yacht her yacht that her and her spouse own you know what I'm saying and she's wearing her all white linen flowy it's just amazing okay she's just doing her thing and <laughs> that's what it smells like to me maybe they're taking a trip to the caribbean or to the island you know somewhere maybe the maldives i don't know they're going someplace okay they're going someplace that's hot humid and sexy okay this fragrance is just that and i really do enjoy this scent i really think that this is a fragrance for my fragrance lovers. If you are a fan of Creed, which I know there are some diehard fans of Creed, I think this is one you should pick up. Now, gentlemen or those of my viewers who enjoy more masculine scents, I do think that this is a nice freshie. It does have a little bit of sweetness to it, so if you don't mind that, then this definitely is a go. But it's not overly sweet. It's not cloying at all. I can definitely see a man or a woman wearing this. So if you and your boo want to share, that would be great as well, and it'll cut the cost. So this is Creed Virgin Island Water, and I am so so happy to have this in my collection and last but certainly not least y'all oh, oh my gosh i did not know maria aka it's mj my girl she told us she told us about this scent if y'all haven't picked this up please pick this fragrance up if if you like how i describe it okay and this is bdk's tuberous imperial I think that's how you say it please correct me if i'm wrong but yes it's their tuberose fragrance i actually just ordered passissoire and passissoire y'all and i do want to get my nose on grease charnel because i don't know i think that maybe that will be a fun fragrance for me to try you know but this one holy moly now before i start getting into the notes and stuff i just want to say that if you enjoy john paul gaultier's scandal by night if y'all like that tuberose that's in there, that buttery, sweet, like very bloomed tuberose, this is for you. This is a creamy, buttery, beautiful, sophisticated tuberose. Like, oh my gosh, this smells amazing and the dry down is the best part. I am going to get you guys a spray routine, you know, how I apply my perfume video out really soon. I just have to figure out a time that I can film it so I can show y'all my body, okay? <laughs> but this scent is just a beautiful tuberose with some yellow florals in there. This also has a vanillic, slightly powdery slash creaminess to it. <sighs> so what I get the most from this fragrance is, of course, the tuberose. I also get the Elaine that's in here. It kind of gives it this slightly tropical vibe. I'm not calling this fragrance tropical at all, but I really do enjoy the way Elaine smell. They smell like a very sweet floral, but it has this twang to it. I really, really like it. It also has some jasmine. And then in the base, it has some cashmere, which gives it this smoothness. I think that's what gives it like its velvety, creamy quality because cashmere is ultra smooth i really like it. it has a little bit of incense which i don't get much of but i think that might add to the depth and this also has vanilla in the base as well along with some sandalwood so with those notes that's definitely what gives it that creaminess that sweetness that beautiful dry down that i was trying to tell y'all about this is tuberous imperial by bdk and you guys this is stunning all right y'all so that's all i have for you today thank you again fab grants for sending me these beautiful fragrances and i'm so grateful for you guys please check them out if you have not and go ahead and look in the description box down below if you have any questions or concerns feel free to dm me or comment down below what your questions or concerns are if you are new to my channel i do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's rocking with me until the end or whatnot and this video was slightly long so 
sorry but i want you guys to leave me the palm tree emoji because y'all i am so ready for spring and summer i'm ready to go and take my baby to the park and just do more outdoorsy things because being in the house is so depressing <sighs> safely though of course but yes leave me the palm tree so that i know you guys made it to the end and let me know what fragrances you are interested in or what fragrances do you have that was in my list because i would love to know what your opinions are thank you all so much for watching again i love you all so so much and i will see you all in the next one